joining us today. And I'm going to hand it over to Christina Reed from the AI Solutions team who's going to get us started. Good afternoon. Good morning to everyone. I don't know what time zones are in, but we're really excited to have you guys all here with us. Um, I'm going to go through how Free Flyer is used for students. So we can go ahead and get that kicked off. So for today's agenda, we will go through an overview of Free Flyer, how you can use it um, with your astrodynamic knowledge and how it can be merged with Free, Free Flyer. We'll go through the Free Flyer capabilities, creating an account and installing Free, Fly Free Flyer, how to learn it, and any questions at the end. So first we have the Free Flyer overview. So overall, FreeFlyer is a computer program used to solve astrodynamics problems and can solve pretty much any questions related to a satellite's position and velocity. FreeFlyer Free gives you the control of every aspect of your simulation, which is super cool. And what is really powerful about FreeFlyer is that it has many functions and interfaces and provides a scripting language for you to define and solve your problem. Along with any other new software can be pretty daunting to learn, but we do provide a comprehensive help file sample mission plans, which are included with your installation of Free Flyer. Um, we have a YouTube channel where you can follow along with videos to make learning the software really easy. Another really cool thing about Free Flyer is the full version that's used by professionals is the same license um, that students are able to use as well. So it's free for education for educational use, and it's the exact same version that is being used by professionals in the industry today. Um, Free Flyer is celebrating. 26 years as a commercial off-the-shelf product and it's used in over 250 plus missions and integrated into 30 plus ground stations meaning that it has been flight tested and proven to be reliable and accurate as you can see in the logos below some of our current customers are nasa the u.s air force international government um, commercial companies and in universities as well. Now we'll talk a bit about how the astrodynamics aspect and free flyers merge together. So as we know, orbital mechanics can seem like a daunting topic, but the basic math used in free flyer is fairly, or used in general is fairly straightforward. What is really cool is Free Flyer allows the visual the visualization of such large problems to be a bit more easier to to conceptualize and see. We also have our Free Flyer University Guide, which is a great tool for reinforcing the astrodynamics knowledge that we already have, um, and it walks you through the different built-in capabilities that's provided by Free Flyer. On that topic of our university guide, um, some of the main high level topics that we do provide in our university guide, it's the orbital elements, attitude, maneuver, that's anywhere from the Hohmann transfer, bioelliptic transfer, phasing and plane change. Um, we have a topic on targeting. Next, we have interplanetary. So that's from patch conics, gravity assist, and the B plane and along with their real world modeling. Now, as we know, the core definition of orbits are the six Keplerian orbits, which or orbital elements, which uniquely define the shape and size of an orbit itself, where we have the first two that define the shape and the size. So that's the eccentricity, the semi-major axis. The other two elements which define the orientation of the orbital plane. So that's our inclination and our right ascension of ascending node. And our last two are is the argument of perigee and the true anomaly. So how does that kind of integrate with free flyer itself? So I can pull up free flyer over here and just show a quick example of how 
that would be used in Free Flyer. So you would go by selecting the spacecraft object itself. And here we would change to Kepler, the element type to Kepler, Keplerian. And we have control of our Keplerian elements, which we can change. And we can actually see in the right of the orbit changing itself. So let's go ahead and change this to, let's say, just a random number. We can see how by changing the semi-major axis to a larger number, how our orbit, uh, how the size was, got wider. So this is just an example here of how you can directly control and set your orbit within FreeFlyer itself. So getting more into free, free flyer capabilities, here is an overview of free flyer capability itself where we have propagation, contact analysis, maneuver and targeting, conjunction assessment, output data, output visuals, and external interfacing. So the first topic or the first capability we can focus on is propagation. That's, hey, where will my satellite be in the future? given an initial state. So we're able to propagate one or multiple satellites across any orbit, turn various forces on or off, um, just depending on the type of analysis that you're doing or how, uh, the, I guess, level of fidelity you want your propagator to, to have. Um, you can verify and validate different propagation methods and see the results within FreeFlyer. You're able to um, use relative orbits for rendezvous, proximity operation, and formation flight. Next is contact analysis. Kind of the big question here, can my satellite be in contact with ground station X, for example? Um, X can be an antenna on, the, on Earth. Um, it can be another satellite, a region. Um, anything that you're interested to see if your satellite will be in contact. Um, you can perform general line of sight, sorry, the house in the background, um, perform general line of sight. Um, you can model specific sensors. You can also use it for analysis and operation. You can account for possible sources of interface and terrain and estimate signal strength for a given contact. Next, a big thing is maneuver, maneuvering and targeting. How can I change my satellite's orbit? You can. You also have the ability to look at low fidelity modeling, um, direction and magnitude only, or high fidelity modeling. A full. You can integrate a full propulsion system that's adding thrusters, tanks, and valves, and you have the capability of changing between electric, uh, chemical. Um, how many thrusters you have on attached to your satellite. So it does provide a very, again, high fidelity modeling depending on what you're looking to do. Next, a big thing right now in our industry is conjunction ass assessment, which you also have that ability to design and analyze within FreeFlyer. Like what is the conjunction risk of my satellite? You're, you have the ability to propagate the satellite and debris object to determine that likelihood of a conjunction between the two objects, calculating the time of closest approach, the probability of collision. You could see um, in the picture below, you have your the ellipsoid, which is related to your covariance matrix. So you can have all that visualization done in FreeFlyer as well. Um, we also have output data. You have the ability to output your data, whether it's in text, um, in you know the free flyer uh, window itself. Um, you could do, use Excel sheet, depending on however you would like to output your data. You're able to configure that in free flyer. You're able to report the data to the output screen and save it to a file. There, we offer many different built-in output formats. 
um, and you have the ability to create a custom format as well. So different interfacing capabilities. This will, we have the TCP slash IP socket, which allows you to send and receive data between programs that are running um, one or more computers. This is a really great thing to use, especially if you're looking to download TLEs, for example. Um, with the with this interfacing capability, you're able to connect to Celeste Track and download a particular set of TLEs fairly easily. We also have a sample mission plan that demonstrates exactly how to do that. Another cool thing is you can use FreeFlyer Free Flyer to integrate with MATLAB, Python, any other software that you may already have a working script that you're using to propagate in orbit and you want to actually now just visualize it in Free Flyer, you can interface your working script from MATLAB or Python, just for an example, with Free Flyer as well. Now we do also have a mission tier license. The mission tier license just has a few more additional capabilities that isn't provided with the engineer tier license that we send to students as um, a default. And the additional capabilities is our orbit determination, optimization, terrain, and runtime API. Again, these are a bit more advanced, but if you are interested in you know, seeing how these capabilities work in free fire or you need it for your particular analysis all you have to do is email us and ask us and we'll be happy to provide you with the mission tier license now how to create an account and installing free fire it's fairly easy um, so first to create an account this is really just part one you would just navigate to our website um, and once you navigate to our website, which you can access with this QR code as well. You would just click on this big red button to create an account. You would register with your university email. And in the registration form, there is a question on how did you hear about us? And you can simply put Free Flyers University webinar. Once your registration has been submitted, there it will be pending or will be approved right away, just depending on the particular university. But we typically approve registrations fairly quickly and you'll get an email notifying you that your registration has been approved. And once your account has been approved, you can navigate back to our website, download Free Flyer for Windows, install Free, Fly Free Flyer, run the program, and you will just send this, your the information, your computer information, that's in the pop-up box to our FF licensing email, and we'll send you a license for your machine for that semester. Another really cool thing is these licenses, these licenses are generated um, every semester. So depending on when you reach out to us, we will send you that license with a expiration date, but if you still need it for the following semester, all you have to do again is reach out to us and we will renew your license. Now, how to learn Free Flyer. This is one of my favorite topics with Free Flyer itself because we do have a lot of helpful guides that makes it fairly easy to get used to and learn the software. So first we have our help file. So again, this is also available with your installation of Free, Fly Free Flyer, and I still use it in my everyday use. It's a great documentation, and if, if you have any questions or, or wondering if something is available in Free Flyer, you can just search that particular word, and all the different documentations that include that will pop up, and it will kind of navigate you through what it is and how to use it. We have our Free Fly University guide, um, which we talked about the different topics there. And again, we have our sample mission plans. That's a great place to, or these, these sample mission plans are great resources to see the different capabilities and demonstrate the, like, just how powerful Free Flyer is and can help you set up your particular analysis. And you can use it kind of as a baseline and tweak it and change it depending on what exactly you're trying to do. Lastly, we do have a YouTube channel. And on our YouTube channel, we have 
we go through the fundamentals of Free Flyer. Um, we walk you through different step by step instructions on different sample mission plans to set up for yourself. And it's really great because you can pause it, play it, rewind it whenever you need to. Now, once you've gone through all the plethora of materials, you can test your knowledge of Free Flyer through our certification program. It, the certification tests your ability to understand, hey, am I really grasping the different ins and outs of Free Flyer? We have level one, which was launched in 2020. And we have level two coming later in 2023. So we're working on that now. And it's, you know, a bit more difficult than level one still fairly it once you go through the different documentation and help file it's not too bad at all so it's a great uh it's a great test to see just how well you know the software itself and what's really cool is once you go th go through the certification you can you'll get certified you'll get your certificate and you can post it and show it off on LinkedIn. So I think that's really cool too. Now, are there any questions? Excellent job, Christina. We do have several questions from the audience. Um, oh. So uh, let's just, let's start with technical type of questions and let's move, uh, move forward from there. Um, so I want to start with um, uh, Lenan George. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Uh, can you change the central body of uh, of a spacecraft to another planet or asteroid? Yes, yes, you can. And again, it's fairly easy to do as well. I still have this up. So let's say here in our spacecraft GUI, we have the central body drop down option here. And you can go ahead and, you know, a big one moon, just depending on what planet you're interested in changing it to. So you definitely have that capability. Excellent. And then while you have the spacecraft, uh, spacecraft object open, what is included in various forces that can be modeled, that can be turned on and off? Does this include J2 and or higher order effects, um, drag? And how could I get insight into what assumptions are being made into the model? Yeah, that's a really great question. So under our motion model we have here, um, again, you can change your motion source, your integrator type here. Um, you, we also have a force model option where you can select the available bodies that you want to turn on or off. Here we have the Earth forces where the field type, just depending again how high or low you want your model fidelity to be, you can change it from two point mass and that and then again you see what options kind of go away from there, where if we turn the zonal and terrestrial potential terms back on, you have the ability to increase or decrease these potential fields. You have the option to use our default um, potential field file or if you want to import your own, you can do that. If you want drag on or off, you can click that there. Same with lift. So it's very intensive, just depending on what you want to do. And again, if you're if you're looking for more information, you can go to our help file, search force model or particular integrator type that you're interested in, see if it pops up there and, and see what's available. Excellent. A couple more technical questions. This one's from Francisco. Does Free Flyer support low thrust trajectory design? Yes, 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 yes. So we do have, and I'm, I need to confirm if we do have a sample mission plan, but I don't remember if it's for a mission tier or engineer tier license, but we do also have an example sample mission plan of that. Michael, do you know off the top of your head if that's for Let's a mission tier license? Why don't you go ahead and bring it up? Um, uh, and so we can so we can see it. I will say, Francisco, uh, she's referring to uh, our engineer and our mission tier versions of Free Flyer software. The engineer tier is included uh, when you normally just ask for a Free Flyer University license. 
if you need something in our upper mission tier, let's say the optimization package or the low thrust, uh, the low thrust optimal control information, uh, just request a mission license from us and we will grant that for uh, the current semester so that you're able to access those features uh, if needed. I'm just pulling it up. While she's doing that, we had a qu another question from Amber. Is FreeFlyer available for Mac or Linux? And um, a full answer there uh, was provided in the chat, but uh, FreeFlyer, the full GUI experience with the ability to adjust mission plans through script works in Windows today. Um, you can use a Windows VM or something like that as needed. Once you have a script, you can then execute that script in Linux as well. We are currently working on a cross-platform next generation of the software that would include uh, both full Linux and Mac support. Um, and we'll provide more details on that when possible. All right, um, let me see what other questions we have. Andrew asks, I need to request licenses for an entire computer lab where computers are used by multiple students. How can I receive multiple licenses for this scenario? Great question, Andrew. Um, we can provide a network license that will work for an entire site, uh, and you can just tell us how many seats you need uh, for educational use or we can provide node locked licenses individually to students as requested, um, or we can do both. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility there. Uh, just get in touch with uh, your current account manager or reach out to fflicense at ai-solutions.com and we can provide more information for your specific case. Um, while Christina is prepping that low thrust example, I'm gonna take over the screen momentarily and I'm gonna show uh, uh, there was a question asked about lesson plans for uh, lesson plans that are available in FreeFlyer. So, uh, that's the wrong screen. Hold on. Uh, so, for uh, for FreeFlyer. Uh, we do provide, let's make sure I have the right one, a Free Flyer University Guide. And the University Guide is very comprehensive and is the basis for, uh, uh, for multiple different, there we go, for multiple different scenarios that have been created by grad students and uh, TAs, professors. Uh, so let me show you that. So this is the Free Flyer University portion of our website. If you Google Free Flyer University, you'll find this, or you can go to our website, ai-solutions.com, and navigate to Free Flyer, Free Flyer University. If you scroll about halfway down, you'll find the Free Flyer University Guide. This is a guide that's been written uh, by students, for students. It's about 200 pages, and Christina mentioned it earlier. Uh, and so it really walks through the basics of orbital mechanics from a free fire perspective. So for each of these uh, for each of these topics, you'll find information on uh, what the topic is. So here are home and transfer, walking through the mathematics of a home and transfer. And then uh, there's a sample problem where uh, someone actually implements this in free flyer. Uh, so you'll see we have uh, script script text as well as um, information about exactly how to uh, do things in the GUI. So this creates a sample problem that can be implemented as part of a lesson plan. Uh, you can also just, uh, we have some questions at the end of all these sample problems. You could just change the numbers around and uh, make it into a, uh, a homework uh, type of problem as well. So we have all of this information in our university guide that's available publicly. Uh, we are always looking to make changes to the university guide uh, to help professors with those lesson plans and that kind of information. So please get in touch if you have uh, ideas or further questions. And Christina, am I ready to hand it back over? Yes, let me share my screen. Okay, cool. So I pulled up the, um, uh, the, 
geosynchronous transfer orbit to a geostationary orbit. So I'll play this sample mission plan, which is in our optimization sample mission plan. Well, actually, let me stop this for a second and show you how I got to this. So once you have Reflyer downloaded and installed, you can see the browse a sample mission plan under a quick task, and it nicely lays out all the different topics. So I went to the optimization mission tier, and I pulled up the GTO to GO1. And we can just run it here. And what this mission plan is demonstrating is it's linking multiple trajectory phases to transfer, transfer from GTO to GO. Um, where the different trajectory phase optics are created, one for the parking orbit, the post boost phase, and the transfer phase itself. As it's running, uh, once the problem is optimized, the spacecraft state is set at the final node of the trajectory phase and propagated for visualization itself. So again, seeing just how powerful, powerful group I really is. So yeah. Excellent, thanks. I have a couple more questions uh, that have been sent in that we that I think we can cover in the software here. Um, one, is there support for three body problem propagation of periodic orbits at Lagrange points and or transfers between them? Or could these propagators be uploaded as a script from MATLAB? So do we have uh, Lagrange multibody support? Yes, yes, we do. And for your the second question, being uploaded from MATLAB, again, you have that ability through interfacing with MATLAB itself. Yeah, and if you look at the interplanetary section of the sample mission plans, there's several um, libration point or Lagrange point examples that are that are built in. Um, so you, we recommend in all cases when you're starting a homework problem or uh, whatever project you may find uh, that you try to find a sample mission plan to get started. Is muted. Yes. Um, Francisco asks, aside from translational dynamics of a body, so positional dynamics, is it possible to simulate the attitude dynamics and analyze things such as pointing error for a communication satellite? Yes, for sure. And uh, just even on that point, I kind of want to go back to how Free Flyer is used in current missions today. And that's something that missions want to make sure you have that ability to, to control and design and test. So in regards to attitude control, that is definitely available to do in free, free flyer as well. Excellent. And uh, the last question that I see here, I'm just kind of scrolling through to make sure we got them. Is it possible to utilize multi CPU core systems? Can you um, make calculations multi multi threaded to speed them up? So that is where I would probably inter pull in the runtime API itself and asking to use the mission tier license um, to have that ability. And that's a great question. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, definitely reach out to us and ask for that mission tier license to access the runtime API. And more and more question from Jesus. Ooh. What are some different ways that Free Flyer is used in the industry? That's a great question. Um, so. I can pull up the slides again because I think that would be a great reference. Do, 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 do. It was in the beginning. Yeah, so for example, a lot of NASA missions, they will use that for different mission, there are nominal day-to-day -day mission operations. So that could be anywhere from running their orbit determination to uploading their ephemeris to the spacecraft. Again, it's also integrated um, in ground systems. So that could be for contact analysis, kind of anything you can think of in regards to what operators are doing on the ground, that's what they would use Free Flyer for. So if you're looking from an industry aspect, you're you're looking to see when I go into work, I'm using this software to big thing upload again an ephemeris to the spacecraft. I'm using this software to for maneuver planning. If I need to 
make sure that the spacecraft performs a station keeping maneuver or a risk mitigation maneuver. You're going to use Free Flyer to do all that heavy lifting math and analysis and make sure the maneuver you're going to execute is safe and upload it to the spacecraft to actually execute. All right, I hope that you've had a chance to stretch. Thank you so much for continuing to join us. What we want to talk about next is how FreeFlyer is used at universities. So we talked a little bit about what is FreeFlyer and how a student might use it. What I want to do is take a few minutes and talk to uh, professors, project leaders, anyone else in the room, or you can take this back uh, to your decision makers as well about uh, just the mechanics of how FreeFlyer is used across universities worldwide. So stepping back uh, a little bit about uh, a little bit about us, AI Solutions is the company that makes FreeFlyer. We've been around for over 25 years. I'm Michael Barton. I'm the head of sales here at the company. I also run our FreeFlyer University program. Um, so I'm very happy to connect with all of y'all. Uh, as you can see, FreeFlyer uh, is run by AI Solutions uh, at our corporate headquarters in Washington, D.C. area, right near NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, which has been running um, which has been running Earth science missions for uh, well over 50 years. You can see that AI Solutions has a presence across the rest of the United States as well and has expertise in space operations, systems assurance and launch operations. So that's just a portion of what we do. Obviously, what we do every day in our team is free flyer software. And as Christina uh, talked about, free flyer is our premier software for end to end support for the full satellite mission lifecycle. So for real missions, hundreds across the world, free flyer is used in that design phase where you're uh, coming up with mission parameters, looking at requirements. How many satellites need to be in this constellation? What types of uh, buses can support this certain mission? And uh, FreeFlyer is able to answer all of these questions in any orbit regime, including cislunar space, including interplanetary missions, with any number of satellites. Um, so there's no limitations there for large constellations or even looking at the entire catalog for space situational awareness applications. Next, free fire is used to perform analysis and trade studies to model optimal flight plans. So um, as you're moving out of that design phase into the analysis phase, looking even more into design requirements, making sure that all the decisions being made will meet those mission requirements, free fire is there with you every step of the way. Then finally, many of our missions integrate free fire into their operations for daily tasks, as Christina again was mentioning. Free Flyer is used um, from CubeSats all the way to the International Space Station, James Webb Space Telescope, and most recently Artemis 1, where Free Flyer is performing orbit determination, maneuver planning, and uh, product generation. Uh, now, educationally wise, uh, this same software is available for free for educational use. So that's a great, a great capability there. And we believe that Free Flyer is not only a great solution for educational use because it's used in operations, so that's what the adults use, but also because its MATLAB scripting environment, MATLAB-like scripting environment, gives users maximum flexibility, but also improves student scripting capabilities. So we believe that any time you're spending uh, as a student doing pseudocode scripting operations in whatever language, that's going to help you um, in your career whether that's involving astrodynamics every day or not, and we want to be part of that solution. FreeFlyer has got its start in 2015 as a university tool. Remember, it's been, a, been around for over 25 years, but in 2015, we were, uh, because of ITAR rule changes, uh, we were able to offer the software for free to university students for the first time. In the eight years since then, the program has grown exponentially. And today, FreeFlyer is in use in over 50 countries, over 40 states in the United States, in over 350 schools, and is spread to over 2,000 students worldwide. FreeFlyer is available for uh, almost anyone, almost anywhere. Not available currently in Russia, China, and a few other select countries due to corporate restrictions. 
uh, but it is available almost anywhere. So tell your friends um, and uh, get a copy of the software. Our support to professors. So what does it look like to engage in a relationship with AI solutions um, and uh, for free flyer software? So one, I walked through already that university guide. The university guide has, I believe, seven chapters right now. And we update that every summer uh, by our interns uh, that do the updating to make sure that it remains student written. And it's updated every summer based on professor feedback. Uh, so most recently, we added a chapter on attitude dynamics, and that was based on the request of a specific press professor who wanted to incorporate um, free flyer as an attitude uh, portion of their classroom curriculum. So we can uh, make those changes. We can work with you to make sure that we're providing the best solution for you and your students. And we want to be uh, we want to be helpful in making that happen. So please reach out to us. Uh, we're always looking for ideas in uh, ways that we can offer more and improved content. Um, besides the university guide, Christina also mentioned our YouTube video series where we have a lot of different content aimed at a lot of different user bases, but including university students. If you have any ideas of content that you'd like to see there as well, please just let us know. Also, we have access to our world-class technical support team. This is a major differentiator between FreeFlyer and other tools. Some tools that are freely available, such as GMAT and ORCID, uh, don't have a lot of support solutions available. Other tools uh, do require uh, a paid solution or don't allow students to ask questions. We do allow students to access our world-class technical support team, including Christina, who spoke earlier. And so students are able to get the answers that they need without overloading a professor. Finally, we view FreeFlyer as a great pipeline for students to find jobs. Some of those are right here at AI Solutions. Uh, we hire interns every summer. Uh, it's an incredibly competitive, uh, competitive pool. This year we hired I think 1% of uh, the people who, uh, maybe maybe a little lower than that, of the people who applied. Um, but most of those interns end up working in the Free Flyer team at AI Solutions. I was a former intern uh, myself, as were many here on the team. Um, but also, Free Flyer is more and more becoming a minimum requirement for jobs in the space industry as Free Flyer um, continues to gain market share in professional use. So having free flyer experience in the classroom can be a real uh, game changer for students as they look for positions out in the workforce. Finally, um, our support to professors, we provide a free license for uh, every semester using a couple different models. Uh, so we have a no locked licensing model. I talked about a little bit, a little bit about this in the questions earlier. Um, but we have a node locked licensing model that provides a license per student and uh, the student downloads the license directly from us and we're happy to support that we also provide a network model or a site license model as it's sometimes referred to where free flyers installed in a large group say a computer lab and uh, or is installed on individual laptops uh, and students are able to uh, connect into a license server uh, on campus to access that license capability. Uh, in this way, the license is centrally located, university managed, and it can be easier for um, some ITAR restrictions or things like that. Um, so we support uh, either or both of those models. In some situations, we have site licenses for students who are local and in person or per student uh, node locked licenses for students who are remote. We're happy to work with you to make whatever uh, whatever you need for your student success work. So just get in contact. And finally, the license that we provide is an engineer tier license by default. Uh, we talked a little bit about the differences in Christina's presentation between engineer tier and mission tier licenses, which are separated by feature capabilities. So by default, we're gonna give students the features that they most need for their daily operations. Um, so all of the all of the propagators, all of um, uh, all of the spacecraft uh, force models that, were, that we talked about earlier, um, going to all 
all regimes and all number of satellites. But if you need to access some of our uh, more special features and mission tier, uh, just let us know. So for sometimes graduate students or project work, you might need our optimizer, you might need orbit determination libraries, or perhaps the API. If that's the case, um, please just let us know. There is no additional cost for that information, Amber, um, but uh, uh, there's no additional cost for that license. Uh, we just don't provide it by default. You just need to ask for it and we'll be happy to provide that. Um, finally, I do I do have on here that the license is provided for every semester. Our licenses for educational use expire every January 15th and July 15th. We intend for you to continue to use the software. It's not a restriction. You just need to uh, ask for a new license and we'll go ahead and provide that. We just wanna make sure that your use case remains educational. Speaking of educational use, what does that mean? Uh, it can be a little tricky and I'll, sometimes a little bit of a gray area. If I'm a student sitting in a classroom using an example uh, that a professor or a TA has built and following along, that's clearly educational. If I'm using FreeFlyer to solve a homework problem, that's clearly educational. If I'm using FreeFlyer uh, to do a group project that is part of a senior design class, also clearly educational. What about projects outside of the classroom? Say for a design build fly type of class or uh, project or a CANSAT competition, um, or even a competition outside of a university like the International Space Challenge run out of Singapore. We define all of those use cases as educational as well. Finally, for grad students and professors, we also define uh, many types of research as educational use cases as well. So internally funded research or externally funded research for the purposes of education are all classified as educational. If you have any questions about this delineation, please contact uh, your FreeFlyer University representative or just get in touch with us at ffuniversity at ai-solutions.com. I want to talk about where FreeFlyer sits amongst all the different choices that you have for your, all of your astrodynamics learning needs. Um, and I wanted to be specific because it can be helpful sometimes. So uh, FreeFlyer is a, a world-class astrodynamics tool. There are a couple of others available to you. One is STK by our friends at ANSYS. And then there are some free options as well, like GMAT and ORCID. Um, so the chart that you see really helps you compare and make some choices between those. Um, FreeFlyer, as well as tools like GMAT and ORCID are free for educational use. Uh, uh, tools at ANSYS uh, can be made free, contingent upon the completion of an academic program uh, by professors or other support personnel at institutions, um, and uh, uh, exactly how much that costs uh, changes from year to year, so I can't speak to those specifics. Um, SDK also requires a support coordinator and a campus server to utilize uh, SDK at the university level. Um, and obviously no other software requires um, uh, all of that overhead for universities to use the software. FreeFlyer and SDK, I will say, are extremely well documented and are used on world-class missions. Um, so. Uh, over here at FreeFlyer, that's the International Space Station. It's the James Webb Space Telescope. It's uh, many things by militaries across the world um, looking at space situational awareness and uh, rendezvous and proximity operations. Um, that really can't be said for uh, freer, uh, freeware solutions like GMAT and ORCID. Um, the one really thing that FreeFlyer does that no one else does is we offer our world-class support to students directly. Um, so that really takes a load off of professors as you're looking um, to really make the most out of uh, out of your time because we know it's very valuable. Um, so we uh, have some of our time blocked out so that we can help uh, your students succeed. So I hope that that's helpful. If you have any questions um, about those specifics, please just let us know. And that's really all I have today. Uh, what I wanted to do is introduce the rest of the FreeFlyer University and sales team. Uh, so as I said, I'm Michael Barton and I support the FreeFlyer University program as a whole, but also specifically schools in the Midwest and the United States, as well as the, the Americas more generally. 
Regi Scani is on our team supporting the Western part of the United States and Europe. Danny Brown on our team supports the U.S. South, the U.S. Mountain Wood West, East Asia, and the U.K. And finally, Chris Ulrich supports the Northeast in the U.S. as far as well as uh, Middle East, Africa, and India. If you have any questions, the email and phone numbers uh, will get you in touch with us as a group. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter and on LinkedIn. That QR code will take you to our company's LinkedIn page where we're providing uh, great content, um, such as uh, an invitation to the webinar that you're on today. Thank you very much. Let me see if there's any questions here that haven't been covered. All right. So what we're gonna do is take another two minute break and then we will hear from some of our external uh, presenters. So thanks very much.